Hello everybody, my name is Stratex and welcome back to Victoria 3 and our playthrough as Grand Columbia. So today we have a very rapid expansion plan everybody. I'm going to try and take out a lot of expansion targets. So I want to of course kill Ecuador. We have to figure out how to take on uh, Peru, Bolivia, because of course we found out last episode they are protected by half the world. Well, France. <laughs> I could not take on 600,000 angry Frenchmen. No, thank you. That would be pretty awful for me. So we need to try and figure out a way of killing Ecuador, maybe taking over some of their territory, Peru, Bolivia, because they are actually allied. And also I want to start invading into Mexico as well, because it looks like Mexico is invading into America. So <laughs> it'd be funny if we get to a point where I get to like where Mexico is and then they take over America. <laughs> it's like, what, what have we done here? We've created a weird monstrosity. Anyway, so that's what our plan for the day. Now, I did of course the uh, last episode, I did realize how far into the game we got. So the game actually runs until 1936. So we are pretty much around halfway through the game at this point. So uh, I think it's pretty good actually because we've gone from, well, Colombia to a pretty powerful nation that is actually still not classed as a major power, funny enough. So I've been slacking massively, but we will try and rectify that as soon as possible. I think most of it comes down to the lack of military I have because, for instance, B Brazil is very, very close to actually, but oh, they are, they're a major power. A lot of that is down to their military power. 174 nearly all of it is from the power of their military they have 90,000 troops uh, I only have what 30,000 yeah we haven't been spending a lot of time on military boy let's put it that way anyway we will try and fix that today though as we go along I'm also going to just roundly ah we've done it already let's just make sure people don't hate us that are major powers we don't want them to be involved in my territory wars if we can avoid it nice okay now, at the moment, I was doing a massive expansion for various reasons. I wanted to increase the amount of points we have because I really wanted to increase institutions to a higher rate. We've already got a lot of them pretty much maxed out. Uh, if we just go over to Home Affairs, let's get that up and running as soon as possible. I did actually unlock Colonial Generation, but to honest everybody, it's a bit, it's a bit pointless now because France and Russia have kind of just eaten everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like what, what is happening here there's even an american carny over here it's just pure chaos everybody pure chaos uh, i don't think we're actually going to need it much but i won't get rid of it i'm just going to leave it at the lowest ranks so it's not costing me any um upkeep what is this uh momentum what 50 percent less throughput on railway for two years no negative why am i being cursed so much game screw you <laughs> It's apparently just destroyed some of my um, throughput there, which is a bit sad, but it is what it is. Excellent. I think now, let's put these down to the bottom. We have enough um, points there. Sorry, bureaucratic capacity to actually have all of its users at maximum, at least the ones I want to anyway. So we're going to get ourselves an additional 20% reduction in all radicals and increase in loyalists. And also we're going to get ourselves uh, an increase in education across my nation as well, which is pretty handy. What is this? Rubber Rush? <laughs> We've never seen this event before. <laughs> and it happened again. At least we got a lot of rubber, right? There's a lot of rubber everywhere. Now, oh, what's this? Ah, wait, I think I know what's happening. It says that I remember I switched over my production methods in the last episode to have bike messengers, though we have no rubber. So that's why we're having issues with that. But also, it looks like we got some problems with munitions and tools as well. Now, I'm pretty sure I have queued up most things to be expanded at some point in the future. So it's just pretty much just a matter of letting the game build the buildings we need. Um, wow, you guys aren't making a lot of money here. Average wage, 0 0.79. What is happening in this location? The average wage here is £34. Why, why are you not getting any money? <laughs> guys, what's going on here? It's a bit cursed. Um, wow. Wait, how much are we producing in this location? 140 small arms and 100 artillery. Interesting. But then if I do this, we will then get 160 artillery and only 40 small arms. It's it's not really being balanced out, is it? At this point, maybe it would be a good idea to actually have two separate facilities. Just so I could try and balance out the artillery and the small arms a bit better. 
So what I'm going to do, we'll leave that there for now. Let's make this place into an additional arms factory. We'll have four of them again. And we'll have these guys just make guns. And then we'll have the other ones switch over to having not just artillery, but we can reduce this down so there's only making um, artillery. It's actually, wait, what was it? Negative 100? Oh, so they still make 40 arms, but it'd be fine. Anyway. What is this? Ambassadors from France have approached us about a possibility of them acquiring land. I absolutely refuse. No. Oh, they may attack me. They now have a claim on Panama. You guys need to back off, okay? I will build Panama Canal, and you can't stop me. How do I do that, by the way? I'm pretty sure we've unlocked the capacity to do so, actually, at some point. I'm pretty sure there was a technology we unlocked that would have allowed us to do so. So, I think it was in society. Was it this one we were doing? I know, that unlocked the Eiffel Tower and Statue of Liberty. So, there's probably a tech somewhere in the game that unlocks the ability to make the Panama Canal. I would imagine it might be under military because there's a bunch of dock technology. Uh, ports. Maybe I'm wrong here. Sea lane strategies. I don't know where it is. I know it's in the game somewhere. Because uh, I've seen the option before, but I'm not sure exactly where it is, unfortunately. Is it one of these? I can't see any here, anything here about it, unfortunately. Ah! Ah! Survey the Panama location. It's going to cost me a thousand... Wow! For a year? That is insane! We'll build up to that. <laughs> if I do it right now, we go bankrupt. So we're going to avoid that for the time being. Also, some free taxes because we're starting to lose money. The Ripper. Gruesome murders. We must bring the kids justice. And someone just got shot in the face, apparently, in the background there. Okay, we're still doing a massive increase in steel mills. And we have a massive issue with tools. <laughs> uh, we need a load and load of tools. i got to be careful now because I keep building everything in one place. We probably should build an additional tool factory location somewhere else. This is going to be a massive admin structure at some point. Um, this place has a load of potential. Yeah, this is looking pretty... Oh, I think this is looking pretty nice. So if we build 10 tool factories, we're going to need an additional... We're going to need more infrastructure, but only a little bit. So if we go and queue up 10 of those... And we will also queue up an additional railway as well. Done. Ooh, so I was looking at that. I was like, why is it changing so much? <laughs> it's all good. Cool. I'm happy with this though. It's going pretty well. Because we're a bit going up and down a bit with the old um, GDP here. But eventually it should just continually go up. Because we are building a lot of buildings. We are getting a lot of jobs into the markets and stuff. We probably should also look at some basic material. Let's just make sure the rest of our market is doing okay. So what are we at? We are massively in trouble with rubber. But that's going to be fixed. Luxury goods are also in a dire strait. As well as tea. Can we get tea in this part of the world? No we cannot. But I can import it. I would import tea from... Oh wait, no one's even providing that much tea. Do you know what? Screw that. Tea is a luxury drink. We can actually just get coffee instead. Um, we probably want to deal with that then. So I'm building 10 of these, right? So it's going to cost 10. And we're building one of those. We can also build ourselves 10 coffee plantations. At some point. Because our current build queue is absolutely gigantic. <laughs> Apparently it's going to take... 193 weeks to actually finish the build queue at the moment, which is a bit ridiculous, but we are making a lot of stuff happen. Let's put it that way. Okay, what else do we need anyway? Because that was only one... There's so many issues right now, we've got to deal with all of them. 
Luxury goods. I think I've already accounted for this, right? Yes, we've already queued up a bunch of increases there, so that's going to be working out. Engines. That is something we have not accounted for. So I'm going to build an additional engine here, and we'll build somewhere else. This location here looks pretty nice. Let's build a additional five motor industries. This is going to be for very long-term production at this point. We're building in bulk because we need probably a lot of stuff in the future. Okay, so engines are sorted out. Paper is another one we all need to sort out. So paper requires... We need a lot of paper. Let's go for an additional... We're going to double it. Because if I need to get a thousand bureaucracy points, we're going to need a lot of paper anyway. So we'll get that up to a four. And that also means we need to, in turn, increase the sulfur mines. Probably by two. And also... We're probably also going to need to get ourselves more wood. So I'm going to increase this by six. I know there's a lot of very really broad buildings here, but it will all come together eventually. Bear in mind, I'm building stuff in clumps of five now. So it's not like we're... Like, I literally just built four rubber plantations in like five seconds. We have loads now. <laughs> uh, oh, how much do they produce, by the way? Never figured that out. They produce... Ten per? No, that's not right. I'm not sure. 120. So they're producing 40 per. So right now we have actually have just too much rubber. <laughs> but I can actually change the textile mill to produce elastics now, which gives us even more luxury goods. So problem solved. At least a little bit. The Ripper. Police have received a letter allegedly written by the Ripper. This cryptic note might hold the key. I'll be in after dark. Um... What does this mean? I can lose authority for two years, or I can lose legitimacy, which we're not even using right now. So I'll lose legitimacy, that's fine. City of Plenty. This buff gives us more loyalists in my main location, which I think we will take up on. Nice. Putting taxes back down to normal. We're doing pretty well. I mean, like, look at this deficit uh, of radicals. We're down. We've apparently got rid of two hundred and seventy thousand of them in the last few months alone, which is like the last year. It's literally been a year. That is insane. We reduced radicals down by a massive margin. Okay. I think it's time. Now we got that industry stuff sorted out a little bit. I oh, we can't do it. It's one more year, isn't it? We can't attack again until 1883, because we're in a truce. And of course, we can't attack these guys because they kill me. But we will get there eventually. I like how now we're spending 629, uh, six, 62,000 uh, pounds a week on construction. That is insane. We are losing a lot of money on that. But we actually are somehow managing to maintain our economy, so that's pretty good. Oh, actually, they're actually increasing the power of the clove. Luxury goods. Of course, the cheaper the goods here, the more goods they will buy, because they keep leveling up their sound and living. So we're on 14.1 at the moment. Unfortunately, as we discovered last episode, though, we are nowhere near the top boys, which was Scandinavia, I think. Where are they? 18 point... How are they doing this? <laughs> Damn it, Scandinavia. You're making me look bad. I hate them. Stupid overpowered faction. Damn it, Paradox. If only they came from Colombia, this wouldn't be the problem, would it? We'd be overpowered. It's fine. Um, the man on the street. Discriminates between Petit Bourgeois and the Buffins. Oh, wait, game, calm down, calm down, game. Calm down. That's very powerful, by the way. We'll have to exploit that as soon as possible. That is huge. Okay. So, what's this event? Reduce interest group relations, or we lose 25% authority. No, thank you. I'll just uh, do that. That's actually pretty handy. Oh, well. So, electricity. Uh, initially, it uses, weirdly, engines. <laughs> uh, so, we probably want to find a nice place. Let's build it over here, I think. Let's build 10 power plants. 
and we'll also build a railway as well to account this. So this is a general good. It will be able to be heating people's homes, but also it's used in a lot of things for literally everything eventually. Uh, it'll be very, very powerful because it means that we can massively increase efficiency of some buildings that are already available. So, for instance, these guys, logging mills, they currently produce what? Uh, what is that? A 40 per building? It will go up to double. It would be 80. It's huge. It's absolutely massive. And also, I think at the start as well, we can also implement electric street lighting as well, which gives us way more services. So, as you can kind of see, though... We already have enough services anyway. It's not a big deal. Uh, oh, glass. Handy. Uh, oh, wait. I forgot about that. We have run out of infrastructure here. <laughs> That's not good. We could do that temporarily, though. We put it back to the old version. And it should offset... Oh, no. Even then, it's still a problem. We probably need to fix that. Let's go down here. Let's just do this quickly. Let's find those two railways and we'll bring them up to the top. I have queued a lot of buildings. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here. That's them, right? Yeah. Last thing you want is our main region having issues with market access because that would break the entire country it would be a complete disaster uh nice there are there is also a general upgrade for trains by the way with electricity as well we haven't got it yet but you can get electric trains which absolutely fixes every issue you could possibly imagine i mean look at this it gives you 60 infrastructure so you get 20 more um it gives you more transportation less coal more engines and more electricity but it's pretty handy I forgot about these. Uh, let's drop that off. Is it 1883 yet? No. Oh, I'm on speed four. Sorry, everybody. My bad. Oh, we can attack. We can attack this seat. Okay. Let's go for it. How powerful is our army right now? We have 30,000 troops still, but they are pretty sure they are maximum, right? They are absolutely badasses. 65 offensive, 65 defensive. They got everything they could possibly desire. Let's go for it. Please, France, don't attack me. <laughs> why is the East Indian Trading Company here, by the way? <laughs> Can we question that? <laughs> they, why are they over? I guess they are like over the... No, I, I don't understand. They're too far away. <laughs> so, what is that? They're at 45.55. I'm at 65.71. We have a big advantage here. Now, we've got to make sure... I want to add Lima. I'm not going to add any allies because I want this to be a situation where they think they can win. So right now, they think they're going to win. They are very optimistic about their chances to emerge victorious in a spectacular play. Wow. No, I thought that was a defensive group. No, screw you, France. The Americans have backed out already. Interesting. So I can't call any backup. Let's just hope that no one joins this war. Why? No, France. Why are you mobilizing? Don't do it, France. Don't do it. Oh, no. They're mobilizing for some reason. Are they at war with somebody else? Are they in three possible wars? What's happening over here? It's a giant war with... Scandinavia and Germany. Interesting. Let's hope that they're mobilizing for that and not my war. Uh, apart from that, though, let's start mobilizing my men. This is going to be our only chance, I think, to attack Ecuador without fighting France anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to be a bit sneaky here. I'm going to include taking over this state as well. So it's nice and connected. Uh, what's it called? This one. Okay, that's it. I'm not doing any more. We're, we're chilling. France, stay back. Come on, France. You know you don't want to help. You know... You... Oop, I pressed F. Sorry, I was going to press D. <laughs> I use WSD keys to move around the map. It's very handy. Okay, the war has been locked in. Okay, perfect. They think they're going to win. I think I'm going to win. 
Someone's going to win. <laughs> now, I'm going to completely ignore Peru at the start of the war. I'm going to go with Ecuador. We'll just wipe them out. And then we'll go for the real target afterwards. So hopefully with our newfound military, we should be pretty good at this. Can we... Two arms. Can we be a bit sneaky here? Let's bring in the armed forces. Ten. I want to see it. I want to see it, game. Come on. They're not, they're, it's not happening. <laughs> Fine. I'll do it this way. I've just increased the budget of the military, making them like me, which also in turn means that we now have a additional 15% increase in damage and defensive powers. Oh, we're already fighting them. Ignore that front line. Kill the Ecuadorians first. We'll deal with them later, don't worry. Come on, guys. This is where having a lack of force is a bit annoying because you can't protect front, so you just have to let it run through. Let's also increase our attacks while we're at war as well. Just a little bit. Okay, done. We are now fighting on the main front line. So we have a beautiful 94, 93 versus 58, 50, uh, 60, which is actually... Are we, are we the best? Are we the most powerful army in the... I would love to know. Okay, game. It is a way you can find out. Give me a second. Uh, let's see. Is it around here somewhere? I don't... I, I looked at it before. I found how you find... I was looking at it before. When I remember, we will have a look. <laughs> I think it was actually in the battles, isn't it? Ah, I think it was here. We found it, we found it. Oh, look at this. Ball, everybody, look. The best defense in the world is 93.75. We're on 91. We are a very, very high caliber army right now. We are absolutely devastating. I mean, this is perfect. Shame that the battle is so small, though. I'd like to see some massive casualties from the enemy there. Am I horrible saying that? Yes, probably. Uh, no, we don't want these yet. I know we have a massive institution of getting more admin, but that could be last, because we'll focus on the other ones first. Wow. Um, that's a lot of money we're making right there. Maybe the tax increase is a bit premature. Okay, the war's going a bit slow at the moment, but we will start winning. It's weird that there's two fronts, even though we're on one front line, but I think it's because there's a random nation in the middle. Rubber Rush? I've never seen this before. That's going very well for us. Uh, are we going to win this eventually? Our flags look very similar, by the way. I didn't even get to see that attack. It was so rapid. <laughs> it's, just, it's just gone. They're, they're dead. What is this? I'm going to go for the radicals. Because we are just passively reducing radicals. So they go away and eventually. Ah, that's what I want to see. I want to see a big combat here. So 97. Are we the best in the world? 99? I'll tell you what it is. I, I bet someone has the same setup as me, but they've also got a more powerful group of armed forces. So they have 30% instead of 15% increase. That's what it is. How dare they? To be fair though, as we go along now, if we increase the amount of military we have, we'll have more power for this faction anyway. So we'll probably get the bigger buff at some point. That's handy, considering that we're at war, war right now. Yeah, our kill rate is way higher than look at this two to one we're absolutely killing them off here it's actually great it would be better for me if i actually had opium but it's a bit late for that now okay so i do actually want to go down to mobilization good for quiet that's a massive decrease in cost of military that's huge we'll go for that and then we will go for trench works it's gonna take 12 years maybe not <laughs> That's three years. This one's okay. This one, not so much. Oh, this is great. We are absolutely smashing. We're going to get beautiful. Loads of territory here. Incorporate. Uh, how are they doing with infrastructure? Not good. Let's build a railway there at some point in the future. Hopefully these front lines combine at some point. It's not so annoying, but... Let's see what happens. Oh, they got their entire army in here, pretty much. 
That's a big battle. There is also modifiers, by the way. Like we've got like the we got blunder, which is a bit sad. Uh, by the way, I love my guys' purple sash, and they have surprise maneuver. So we got kind of sharp on this one. We got a really bad um, tactic going on. Wait a minute, is this? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to figure out this. Give me a second. Give me a second. There's two fronts because this is actually a front. There's a random like <laughs> pocket we've created. There are no encirclements in Victoria 3, by the way, so it's not that exciting. It just means they're just teleport to their other front art line afterwards. Oh, we lost so many units, though, from this battle. But we have, like, 10 million people, so it's fine. Come on, game. You can do it. And done! Now we've got one front line. Perfect. This guy's doing a great job. He's got a beautiful stash. He's got some amazing skills. He's a good guy. And he's only 51 years old. What a young lad. He'll probably keep us going for a while at least. But I think he'll probably die off before the end of the game at least. Or he, he'll have to. <laughs> he can't live another 50 years. Or could he? Who knows? We have to invest in some kind of cloning technology. If that's in the game. We'll have to, look, have to take a look. Okay. Well, we'll leave them going for now because it's going to take a long time to kill them all off because we've kind of equal with units there. We sh at some point as well, when we get more stabilized, I also need to make a navy and also then we need to make like a marine division so I can just do naval invasions like over here and attack them from two fronts at the same time because I'm an awful person. Um, that'll be in the future. Now, our next construction is looks like it's going to be these new weapon shops. So I think we already discussed that this one was going to be a... Yes, small arms, and this one's going to be converted over to being pretty much just artillery. So let's do that now. So this place is now making zero. That's perfect. We can bounce this really easily then. Is it equal? No, it's off by 10. Why, developers? Why? <laughs> it should be equal. Come on. No, it's fine. I'll calm down. Um, <laughs> damn it. Very nice. It's weird that it still thinks it's making guns, though. That's a bit weird, in my opinion. I don't know what's happening there. Maybe they're looking to that one. Uh, yes, yeah, so now we've actually got too much artillery. And I guess when this fills up, we're going to have too much guns, which is perfect. Because it means we can expand our military out. So I'm going to build more military. Simple as that. Let's have a look. So I reckon we can go up to 60,000. Let's go for 60,000. So if we go to... Is there a, oh, there's a better way of doing this. Is it over here? There it is. Okay, so I want to get them all into into nice uniform things. So right now we have 30 barracks, right? Let me just double check that. Yes, 30 barracks. So, um, one, two, three, six, ten. So we need another. 10 from somewhere. I want to keep it in this region because that depends on who's command of the men. So I think we have that for now. That would be our new military increase in men. In the future when we expand out again, I'll probably have some garrison units in various different regions so we can have multiple different generals. But for now, that should be fine. Also, let's get rid of this I did ages ago. And let's just put in a round of consumption tax for tobacco. Money! Perfect. Okay, so now we're doing the massive increase in capacity for tooling. Which should hopefully give us a lot. I think, because we planned all this out earlier, we should be pretty simple. Just We'll just let it run through and the economy should improve. Um, I think after it's settled, we will then look at what we're lacking and we increase what we need at that point. But tools should be a massive increase for us because I think they cost quite a lot. So all our businesses are losing a lot of money from this. How's the war going though? It's pretty slow. Pretty slow. We will eventually win. It's just a matter of time. But we also need more 
Ah, wait, did we start doing this? Yes. 20 years, because we have nothing in common with this culture. That's pretty wild. Oh, America is once again attacking. Can I get involved in these wars? I would really like to help you, America. Or would I? I take it back. <laughs> I will kill Mexico. You can just distract them for me. I know we're allies technically, but let's face it. I will become the main empire in this part of the world. I'm sorry. Let's get a quick drink. Oh, unfortunately, I've been recording this entire series, everybody, for the last, like, two or three days with a really bad throat, and it's been absolutely awful. So if my voice sounds weird, that is why, by the way, but it's just... Ow. It feels like I'm munching on some kind of nails, which is not a very fun experience, but the show must go on, as they say. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, we can nick some Norwegians. Yes. I think there might be a lot of them because they got a really high standard of living. Let's hope so anyway. Come to me. Join me. How much stuff we're building. It's insane. We can definitely build more construction yards. I should probably start making a second construction yard, by the way, because I don't want to get this place too crazy. Because like I said there's a weird mechanic with pollution. I don't know how it works. So until I know how it works, we're going to try and spread stuff out a little bit. Where would be a great place to build a new construction yard? Uh, this? Ooh. It's got, look at these beautiful fields. We can build steel all over it like a giant city. It's perfect. I'm going to invest... This is going to be our new location for our second construction yard. Congratulations. Let's all do that right away, shall we? There's so much we have to do still. There's so much. This is why I wish there was uh, like a tab. Oh, wrong one. A tab so I can go to different pages. Okay, so we should increase construction speed by another. I think, what does that be per one? Like 10? Is it per 10? It is going to be 10. Beautiful. An extra building being built per week after this construction period. Dakota, that is something to do with America, isn't it? Indigenous Americans. Perfect. And Yankee, that is direct America. <gasps> That's a big one. That's a big one. Look at the population graph. <laughs> Everyone strap in. We're launching off. You know it's bad when people are migrating away from America to another country. <laughs> <laughs> They've messed up everybody. They've messed up. Are we kind of stalemating at this location at this point? I think we kind of are. Um, it's fine. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, I've got about this. The giant coffee plantation I'm building. This should be quite interesting because I haven't really invested much in coffee at all. Oh, the cost of it's really low. Well, it's about to get a lot lower. <laughs> oh, it probably just says that I have an issue with... I, I I put this down based on the market tab, which says I got a massive problem with tea. But it's probably because I haven't got any tea. So let's just import like a single bit of tea and it should get rid of that from the market tab. Gone. There you go. Problem solved. Tobacco though. Tobacco though. That needs an improvement in production. We'll do that later though. This place is being devastated. It's just catching on fire. It's exactly what I want to see in my wars. Oh, what's this? Um, let's go for that one. Yeah, so I kind of built way too much coffee plantations. But the thing is, you've got to bear in mind the game as well. Is that there is no upkeep cost for these buildings. If they make a profit, they hire people. As simple as that. So we literally just... One day, when population needs rise, they will need more coffee. And then when that day arrives, they will make more coffee. It's simple. What is this? The killer known as Bottega Ripper, who has long plagued the state of whatever Matt Plate well, says, has finally been arrested. We got the bastard. Good job, everybody. Good job, police force. The Ripper has been defeated. We need a lot more bureaucracy at this point, which is cute. It's in there somewhere. Maybe. Probably. 
We probably want to... We'll just let it run for a little bit more. Okay, things looking pretty good. Oh, how did the war go with America, by the way? Ooh. Automated power. This is a big upgrade for textile mills and chemical plants. So we can now get maximum explosives. But we need electricity, which we can have. So. Oh, wow. I forgot about the mi The migration is going strong, everybody. We're now up to 12 million population and, and rising. <laughs> They need that coffee. They heard about the coffee and they're like, we're going to Colombia, everybody. Wait, what? I feel like every time America tries to attack Mexico, they just get attacked by the Russians. Look at their pathetic armies. Compared to my glorious 97. Am I the highest in the world? No, not yet, damn it. This one should be pretty good for us next time. It's, it's the giant increase in motor industries. Which we currently have 55% increase cost. That's a lot of cost right there. We probably should just double check by the way. Are there laws we should really be passing right now? I don't think there is though. Poor law. Not a fan of it. I did say that earlier. Restricts child labour. We can't go lower to get primary school education, unfortunately. Rights of assembly. We can technically try and get protective speech but no one wants it so oh we need a technology sorry i think we're good i think we are done with laws well until technology increases anyway does it matter how legitimate my government is though does this actually affect anything apart from the government laws i don't think it does yeah, we're just going to leave it. I don't think it matters if I have legitimacy. I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> it doesn't seem to do anything, so we'll just leave that alone. We'll have to fix it eventually, but that'll be when I actually can use laws again. Wow, that's getting worse and worse. We probably want to deal with this. Uh, where are... We need the paper, though. And we need the logging camps. Let's get rid of these. Aha! There they are! That won't take that long to get there. It's only going to take 32 weeks. We'll let it run through. The power stations, I think, are one of the most expensive buildings in the game. They are absolutely gigantic. Um... Oh, it doesn't say. I think it may actually be more expensive than the steel mills we've been building so far. Uh, there's a pun. We shall all die sooner or later. Who recorded that voice, uh, that audio? They, they're, they're disturbed. They are very disturbed. Nice. Not much employment here at the moment, but I mean, we have rapidly fixed the issue with motors, so that's sorted out. And we're actually nearly at a point where we can get torpedoes. And also, where we actually are a number three producer of a good. So I think I explained this at some point. I think I did. Anyway, if you are in the top three of any production type in the world, you get prestige for it. So I think we are actually doing that already for something. Was it transport? No, we've lost our capacity. What am I producing a lot of? I guess artillery? No, a tenth. We suck at that one. There must be something I'm good at. Explosives? No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm good at, everybody. Are we good at anything? Let's have a quick look. Um, prestige. I need, there it is. We're a major power, by the way. Very nice. So we are doing it from rubber. Rubber. So if we go to rubber, we are getting plus 20 prestige from producing a lot of it. I think it goes down 20, 10, and 5. So if you are the best at everything, you will get a lot of prestige. A lot of it. Okay, next up is paper, because we've got a big problem with that. Then I think it was sulfur, and then we finally had wood. I, this keeps getting worse and worse. I know, it's because of the Ameri The Americans keep moving over here. We're at 13 million population now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, it's, they're having an awful time. How's the war going, by the way? Slow. We probably, after we fix issues with administration we will fast track the increase of military so we can push through this walker because i do want to get my lead 
So America did that war just to revoke a claim on Texas? No, they lost. They, they've now lost the claim to this region of the world. Mad. It's not going well for America, has it? They, they have an awful time. So it, they really can just... Their military is the eighth biggest power in the world. They could easily get a bigger military. I don't know why they don't do it. I mean, I'm doing it. Eventually. <laughs> Maybe they got like a massive queue like I have. It should speed up now because we're going to get through these industries. It should be quicker to build the smaller buildings like... Uh, Lumber camps and stuff. That wood is a bit disturbing. To be fair, wood should be solved because we're at a massive deficit of wood. But wood should be solved when we get the power stations going because we can increase production methods with that. This part of the world is just messed up now. It's 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 ruined. <laughs> We've broken it, everybody. That will tick down eventually, but it takes a long time. Yeah, so quite a big respect for the um, Para Bolivian army, though, because despite me having quite a large advantage on offense and defense, they are still just not dying. <laughs> so, a bit annoying. Though, I say that, we just took over a big chunk of territory there. We've nearly captured one of the regions that we're trying to actually invade and take over, so that's pretty good news for us. Sweden? We're getting all the migrants over here now, everybody. We're going up. Yes. But it's not helping with my um, tax capacity, that's for sure. We can declare more interest because we have reached minor power. Minor power does a few things. In fact, you can see what it does right here. You get an additional free declared interest. I think it was originally one, but you get two more. You get 750 influence, more less loan interest, and more maneuvers in diplomatic play. So you can attack enemies at faster rates. Uh, yes! Yes! So we can do one more region. Let's declare the Caribbean as an interest of region. Oh, we've actually removed the Peru part of Bolivia! Oh, how sad for them. Okay, we now have two things. As you can see, unlike when I normally took over a nation, I am now richer because I have unlocked gold mines, everybody. Beautiful. And we also have lead, which we need a lot of for pretty much everything. So I'm going to be having a look at this quickly. How are we doing? Really bad. Okay. We need to fix that. Nope, wrong one. It'd probably be better if I go it, do it through the other menu. No, we'll do it manually because in case there's other stuff that's not correct right now. So I'm going to go through these. I'll take a little bit of time. Nice, we need more of these. Well, I'll take that. Oh, I messed up there. That was the wrong one. There you go. Oh, we can all see that as well. Yes, America, we can have... Stop destroying the trade agreement if you want a trade agreement, America. It's not that hard. Actually, that's wrong. We should just do basic uh, clothing for them. Done. Okay, so... University. We'll keep it at this point. We're pretty rich. We can handle it. We get an extra free innovation tech speed. <laughs> not a lot, but... Whaling stations. We haven't seen these before. Now, whaling stations give us oil. At least before we discover what oil is. I feel like we should probably expand this out to being steaming and probably maximize it at some point in the future because oil is going to be pretty powerful. I don't know where oil spawns on the map, to be honest. I haven't figured that out yet, so we may be screwed. So we probably want to make sure we have some kind of oil production if we can. Now, we've got a gold mine, which is not running very well. Um, it needs to be improved a little bit. It's already using dynamite, which I'm totally fine with, and it's making us £2,000 already. Now, it's got a lack of coal, though, unfortunately. Um, we'll leave that be. Done. Now, the reason, the difference between a coal gold field and a gold mine is that originally you find gold as a gold field. People fly over. Everyone migrates to the region. They get all the gold. And after a bit of time, it transfers into a mine, which you have to build and use as a regular building. Uh, so that's why there is two different types of gold there. Oh, wrong one. Uh, livestock. 
Oh, we can also get electric fences as well, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of greaves we can get right now, but it's just we need to actually build the power stations, which are planned. Are planned. What is this? The armed force suggests a more hardline foreign policy before Bolivia. Sure. And we've also got central archives. What is this? Plus 5%. Ooh. Ooh. I'll take that. I'll take that game. Thank you very much. Okay. I feel like we are done here. So, we are going to expand a little bit out with the... We need an additional railway. But this region is done. So, sorted. Now, what else we got? Next one. Let's get rid of the luxury. Let's go for water tubing. We do need a lot more wood, but we're working on it. Actually, we have worked on it. We have already now increased the amount of wood we're making, but it's still not enough. Oh, nice. Art. Do you know what? Before I forget, we're going to do this right now. Just so I, we're going to need art and we're getting university. Both of them are going to be quite important now that I'm pretty rich. So we'll get that going at some point. Anyway. Yes. Very nice. Okay. Lead. I'm going to say we're going to need a lot of lead. So I'm actually going to increase this by 10. Because it's our only lead production anyway. So increase that by 10. Put it into the maximum thing we possibly can. We are still leaving off dynamite for now. Until I can like on a large scale increase production of it. But we'll get to it at some point. And also increase that as well. Maximum whaling stations. So that's going to be working out at some point. We want to also do the rest of this. Oh, I want. Because a lot of resource, we need to do loads of stuff at this point. We need loads more stuff. There should be a big upgrade coming for railways production so we can get more engines. But we haven't got it yet. Okay, so that is most of that done. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's build two more railways here. Uh, get rid of the barracks and increase cargo ports. Done! Amazing! Oh, wait, I just saw a barracks. Have we done the barracks upgrade? Yes, we have. We're up to 60,000 battalions. Very nice. Ah, rubber. Rubber is screwed. There's no one working here. Where do they all go? <laughs> ah, the coffee plantations. What have we done? We made a grave mistake, everybody. They've all left. We need... More rubber. There you go. Found some. That's a. I love that. That's a good tech. That's going to make wars a lot cheaper. Okay, next up, I'm going to go for... Oh, Siege Artillery or Trench Warfare. They're both very good. But, oh no, they cost like nine years. We'll leave them be. We will leave them be for now. Let's go for this General Army Upgrade. Oh, no, actually, no, let's go back over this way. Let's find where the upgrade for um, engines was, because we're going to need a lot of engines. Tractors, more fertilizer. It must be somewhere. Steam turbine? No, that's upgrade for the power plants. <gasps> Combustion engine, there it is. We'll get that. We are looking pretty grand these days. We're getting there. In theory, we could also attack Mexico right now. Things are pretty stable. I think we should wait a little bit to get the power and stuff going. So how are you guys doing with the power generation? Have you built any yet? No. So as I was saying earlier, I'm pretty sure this is the biggest building there is. 600. So that's 150 more construction points required than a steel mill. So this is the biggest building I think I've seen in the game so far. Um, but it'll be pretty good. When we get it, it'll be a, a big upgrade for us. Eventually. So now i got a lot of money, by the way. What my next things we're going to be trying to do is I'm going to do a massive increase in universities. If I build 10, I get 30 innovation. Which is going to be a big increase for us. 
we probably have to do it twice. We're going to do it in like two or three regions eventually. We have to do like two or three massive university hubs. But we can increase our production uh, tech speed very quickly. I was like, should I declare one England? <laughs> no. England is still way too powerful for us. They got a lot of troops there. I mean, we're getting stronger, but we're not that strong. Wow, this is just awful. This is just horrible to look at. I, it's just, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Uh, it looks like Europe's not really changed at all. Africa's just cursed. It should just be destroyed at this point. It looks terrible. Um, this has not changed at all either. This has remained the same. There's still a massive revolution. and I don't think that's ever stopped. It's just a permanent revolution over there. Apart from that, the world seems pretty static. And of course, this is still a thing as well. All of which we will try and solve at some point because it looks absolutely awful. Session possible. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Power? Power. Okay, let's go and fix the first thing, which is going to be to fix our wood production issues. So, we currently are a deficit of 800 wood. If I just press this, bada bing, bada boom. Not as bad now. Can I afford to do every... Wait, how much are we going to produce here? Let me just quickly check. 200 at 4. So it's 50 per building. So I'm currently making 500 electricity. If we go and look at rural, it will take a total of under 500. That's fine. We'll go for that then. Wood has been sorted, everybody. Easy. No peace. No peace. Just war. Oh, do you know what I just remembered? I'm paying people too much. There you go. Problem solved. Okay, so that should massively increase my electricity right from the start. And they should start going into that building in droves. It should be pretty nice. Uh, so we're going to be spending... How much are we going to be spending? Hundred and fifty. We have loads of electricity left over. We got loads and loads. We've only used up three buildings electricity. So let's go through all our buildings and see what we can potentially increase. So we've got electric fences, which reduces the amount of people working here. Not very useful. Um Dynamite we've got to work in at some point, but that'll be a bit later. I don't think there's many upgrades for electricity when it comes to rural buildings. It's mostly the other ones. Let's switch back over to... Oh, I forgot about this. Screw it. It'll be fine. Let's go back over to... Urban. Now. So I'm just doing this in the future. We've got loads of uh, art and stuff. But we can go over that later. Urban centres. I want to keep everything at market squares. And no streets. There's no lights in my city. We have beautiful night sky. Now, explosive shells, yes. More of that, please. Arms Industries, leave that alone. Shipyards, leave that alone. Now, this one, chemical plants. We can use electricity here to make more explosives. So we'll go for that. How much explosives are we actually going to have now, by the way? Are we going to have too much? A little bit, yes. So what we should start doing as well is let's just make sure all our buildings for gold are going to have dynamite they do perfect sulfur dynamite uh lead dynamite for now okay back to urban so with this we can now get crystal glass I'm not sure what else we can do with electricity actually <laughs> I'm having a look around with oh automated power looms there's one and electric sewing machines. Done. I'm pretty sure that was a huge upgrade, by the way, for clothing lines. Massive. And, oh, we've actually used a little bit too much electricity. But, 
it will be fine. It's only going to be increased price by like a little bit. It's not going to be too much. And now we're making loads of money again. What do I want to do with that money though? I feel like we should spend the money on more construction yards. <laughs> he can't be stopped, everybody. He's insane. We need more construction yards, everybody. We're doing it. You can't stop me. It's too late. Let me find my construction yards game. The GDP growth of my country is going to explode. It's, it's, we're already at 57 million, everybody. It's, it's getting out of control. Oh, I, I, I'm building nine. I, I need more. That wasn't all of them. <gasps> this is going to be insane growth. It's it's going to break the game, everybody. We've broken everything. I probably should stop with that temporarily. I probably should get up to probably like 120,000. No, no alliance Brazil. Uh, probably 120,000 men. And I'm also going to say we want to get the double 10 university stacks going. So I'll build one here. We build the other one here. We're going to have a lot of universities. And we're going to have a massive tech speed. After that as well, I probably should also do a navy. Power plants. Nice. So, I can increase power plant production for 33% for five years. We can go for technology, steam turbine, or shift work. Steam turbine. For sure. We're going so well. We barely even dented my... Oh, it's because the investment pool is huge. This is temporary. I just remember this. We're going to have a problem at some point. How much is it going up by? Investment source. New construction. We are at a massive deficit for investment pool. We, got, we can't... <laughs> Ugh. It's fine, we're ignore it for now, but eventually we're going to just absolutely run out of money. It's going to be like, you're now making negative 180 grand a day. Uh, but that would be a future problem for a future me, everybody. I'm not going to worry about it now. So right now, let's get rid of the import routes for lead. We're also importing 998 glass. Are you serious? Damn, boy! We probably... Should make our own glass production. It's over here, right? Yes. That's a lot of glass. How much are you making? Let's go for this. Yeah, I don't want to rely on people that much. That's a bit... We're probably literally paying for the American economy right now just through glass production. Good news is though, in a few seconds, our lead mines will be coming online. Are we still importing lead from anywhere? Yes, let's drop all this off. Don't need your help anymore. No, thank you. What else are we importing? We're exporting some stuff. Let's get rid of all the export routes. I don't think we need them anymore. I don't really need to use Brazil as an ally. I'm powerful. I do not need his assistance. I do need silk, though. I cannot get past silk, unfortunately. We need that as well, because otherwise it's annoying. Uh, okay. Done. Uh oh, it's happened, everybody. It's happened. The devastation has begun. We're now losing 50k a day, uh, a week, because I forgot about the investment pool. But if we keep building, we will get rid of the deficit by building more industries. It's fine. We'll push our way through the deficit. It's not going to stop us. They can never stop us. But everybody... I feel like that is going to be today's episode. I hope that everyone has enjoyed. We have massively improved our country in this episode. I don't know by how much, but it, the graph has gone up. We are more powerful than before. We are absolutely getting pretty huge now. Probably I'm going to... Are we still a truce? Yes. Truce, not a truce. We'll probably start tomorrow's episode by attacking Mexico and taking over a lot of their land over here, I think. And apart from that, thank you for watching, everybody. As you can see, the world here is kind of cursed at this point, but don't worry about it. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.